Hi, I'm Carolyn Wainscott, and on this segment of faithquilts.com, I'm going to be showing you kind of a Hawaiian style applique method using a fusible interfacing. This is one large applique cut all at one time. I'm going to be showing you how to use the negative that was cut out also so there's nothing wasted. It's all sewn uh, down with the buttonhole stitch and this is one of those really quick baby quilt tops if you've got to get one out um, to use this method. For both the circus and the carousel baby quilt patterns you will need one and a quarter yards for the background. This has been folded in half twice and the folds were pressed sharply and this is to give me a guide to uh, lay out the applique onto the background. You will need a good sharp blade in your rotary cutter, good scissors because you're cutting through four layers of fabric. For this quilt I'm using the lightweight fusible interfacing. This has the fusible just on one side. The fusible was put onto the back of the fabric that's being used for the applique and it was uh, put on the whole piece. The applique fabric you will need one and a quarter yards also of 44 to 45 inch fabric. It also was folded in half twice and the folds were pressed sharply. Then you will need your downloaded pattern for either a circus or carousel. That has been pinned to the applique fabric. This is kind of a Hawaiian style applique. You're cutting all four of your motifs for all four squares at once and they stay in one piece. To begin, I'm going to take the rotary and cut as much as I can before I have to switch over to scissors. Now that I've got those lines cut, I'm going to have to switch off to the scissor. And I want to keep, this is the positive and this is the negative. I want to cut directly on the lines and you'll see why later. Take the pattern off and it still looks like you have a mess. I'm going to unfold the quilt background. And this is where we're going to use those crease lines to help line up the applique. So here's the quilt top all smoothed out, having the folds is a big help in getting everything laid out and lined up nicely and it's pinned and I'm going to take a blanket stitch and applique all around. And this is the reason I took such care in cutting out the uh, quilt top. I've taken the negative pieces and pin them onto another background 
and now I can either use this as the back of the other quilt as a completely different quilt um, I think it would be cute to cut it across and half them and possibly make this as a bottom of a curtain in the baby's room um, make pillows from these pieces um, make a cushion for the rocking chair in the baby's room yeah, all kinds of possibilities just be careful how you cut and you save yourself a lot of time and have a coordinated room with not a whole lot of effort so I'm down to the fourth corner of the circus applique and I'm going back to my old standby the blanket stitch on my machine I have and extended it to a three by three this is a continual seam all the way around needs to have quite a few pins in it so that it doesn't slip and for this applique I have switched to the darning foot I've left the feed dogs up and I'm going to use the darning foot to give me a little more maneuverability here as I switch and go around corners I've switched to a slight zigzag I'm setting it at 2.2 or 2 and 2 I'm working from the center out these appliques need to be pinned down well but I thought I would just use try this uh, the darning foot because I can go sideways I can go forward so the buttonhole stitching is done on all four corners and on the outside of the circus tent I actually had some paper backed fusible webbing ironed on to some fabric so I've chosen to use that since I don't want to use anything else and it's already done save me a step so here is the blanket and the headpiece And this, these will just be pressed down according to the instructions that come with whatever brand you get. These will also be reinforced with stitching to make sure that they don't come up in washings. I'll probably put some trims around, some tassels or something. Thank you for joining us here at www.favequilts.com. Remember, you can also come over to Facebook 
and leave any comments or ask any questions or post up your photos of your quilts. We'd surely be glad to see them.